It is summertime again. The sweltering heat has seized the entire Beijing city. Along either side of the north-south central axis of Beijing, there is architecture epitomizing the imperial culture, and also street markets emblematic of traditional urban culture. Today, the street markets are interspersed with stalls for ice snacks. But for our ancestors centuries ago, who lived without air conditioning or refrigerators, if they desired cold drink in to beat the summer heat, what would they do? The fact is that there were indeed mysterious structures for storing ice in ancient times. In the Qing Dynasty, Beijing had a total of 18 official ice houses. Among them, five were inside the Forbidden City and were dedicated for imperial use. The other 13 were for high officials and nobles. The ice houses inside the Forbidden City are semi-basement, elongated cave structures with arch roofs, aligned along a north-south axis, sealed with walls. Around two meters thick, they have no windows and only doors on the north and south sides. The ice houses also featured black tech. Our ancestors used volcanic rocks as interior ground pavement, serving both insulation and sterilizing purposes. Now we have the storing places, but where did the ice come from? The ice cubes used in the Forbidden City to freeze food or to cool off the summer heat were mined from the moat around the Imperial Palace, the Beihai and Zhongnanhai lakes, the Imperial River, and elsewhere. The ice cubes for consumption were collected from frozen purified water in the reservoirs dug next to the above lakes and rivers. The ice mining would start right after winter solstice, the coldest days in a year. The workers were sent to quarry those clean, solid, and thick ice blocks, and cut them into cubes of 0.5 meters, each weighing around 80 kilograms. Ice cubes of this size are the least likely to melt. Each ice house could store about 5,000 of these cubes. Because the difficulty in production, ice in the Forbidden City was only supplied from the fifth to the seventh month in the lunar calendar every year during the Qing Dynasty. Even the emperor had to abide by this ration. The ice would be put into cloisonné buckets into the living rooms in the palace, releasing cold air to serve as primitive air conditioning. Wooden or bronze containers called bingjian were also used for freezing food or drink with ice, providing refreshments in the searing heat of summer. These are regarded as the earliest refrigerators of the world. Iced fruits, mung bean soup, sour plum drink, almond tofu. Among all the traditional summer snacks, the most special is sushan or Dairy Hill, which was Qing Dynasty's ice cream. To make sushan, ice was put at the bottom of the base and then flavored and shaped into tiny hills with toppings of melted cheese and butter. It was like a prototype of today's shaved ice dessert. At present. There are three well-preserved famous ice houses west to the central axis of Beijing. The ones in the Forbidden City have been turned into a special restaurant within the Palace Museum. It sells ridge beast ice creams and other special creative cold snacks. The ice houses are no longer exclusive to the imperial family, but rather where visitors can appreciate the profundity of history and culture while taking a rest. Likewise. Beijing's central axis is no longer the pivot for the imperial residents, but for the life of common people.